Hey, hold on now. I want to use the other pistol that's enhanced. Requesting new operator. Ooh, blue turf plan. That's random. It's just in this little box over here. That's something I would have easily missed. And would you look at that? We don't need to repair that because the entrance is over here. By the giant moon shark, which is terrifying and a very apt name. Harry Stafford. What do you got for us, Harry? Shopping list. Five drinks, anything non-alcoholic. Five food, anything. One bottle of anti-rats. Should be enough to get us home. Load these in the cargo container at the bottom of the mass driver in Moonworks. I'll start the launch and then haul ass to meet you. Ugh, oh, another one of these guys who's like, I'm gonna put myself in the storage unit and launch myself back to Earth. Well, that didn't work out for you. Escape in the mass driver. Oh, wow. But I shouldn't escape in the mass driver. Load five non-alcoholic drinks into the shipping container. Oh, I actually have to- <laughs> I actually have to follow their plan. This isn't gonna work. Yes, it will. Neither of us have been under that many Gs before. I've calibrated the mass driver to be within the human range of tolerance. Human range- Jesus, Jordan. We're not clowns in a circus cannon. Hey, what if those- Harry! You cannot lose your shit on me right now, okay? The shuttle's gone. Escape pods are effed. This is our only shot. We're gonna climb into that crate, and that gun is gonna shoot our asses home, and you're gonna kiss your wife and your kids, and everything is gonna work out just fine, all right? All right. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Step one. You have to get those supplies loaded into the crate. You've got the shopping list? Yeah, 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 I got it. Go. 100% capacity. Ooh, does that mean it has stuff for me? I don't know if I can use the harvesters for anything. It feels like it, like if I just pay attention to the routines, that'd be good. I know that I'm- I know I'm not gonna use this because I need to beat the game- I need to beat the story with, uh... With the shuttle of the evacuation, in order to unlock the next character, so can't go anywhere for now. Also, I should use some of these time loop things. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna do. I want to see what's up here. Calibrating. Cause there's blood up there, a whole lot of things that we could possibly access. Just gotta find the right place to climb up. Or use the glue gun. Oh, I've already been up here. But I didn't look at everything, right? <laughs> oh, welcome back, function. That's bad. What do you have on you? I really want the necropsy, uh, necropsy, whatever the hell ability. But only like one person is gonna end up having that ability. It's gonna be like Riley Yu. Hey, look at this. And she's got the upgraded bolt caster. Oh boy! I really don't care about that. Science. Don't use any psychic abilities. Don't take the materials. Cause who knows, maybe I'll get there and it'll be like, oh, you need to use this thing for the shuttle. Material shipments to Challenge 1, including H3 fuel canisters, must be prepped in the mass driver loading zone before the cycle they're scheduled to launch. 
Okay. So I guess... I have to set things up in this room whenever I need to escape, but we're not here to use this area. I need to just leave. Uh-huh. We got a poltergeist here. Ah! Son of a bitch! It's actually right here. Oh, fuck. Recycling charge, recycling charge, recycling charge. Shit. I got a glue canister. There we go. Got the bounty! Glue one etheric mim mimic with your glue can. Oh, Christ almighty. Yeah, I don't need anything for this mass driver, and I'm running out of time, so I actually really need to go. I was hoping this would just lead back to the shell area, but nope! Okay, my plan there was to use my jetpack to cancel out the fall damage, and then I threw myself forward rather than uh, using what I needed to do. All right. In case if I, yeah, okay, I just don't, I haven't used this enough. You see, if I hold space, I use my jetpack. Didn't do that. I double pressed it because, you know, double jumping and jetpacks go hand in hand. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say about that guy. Uh, I guess he's trying to escape from the moon because of the Typhon infestation, which is a lot better than just someone trying to escape from work. All right. Memoir of a Lunar Miner. Project Axiom in the 1980s. It was a time when a legion of astronauts captured the hearts of the world, flashing smiles before closing the cockpit hatch and thundering into space. Dozens of rockets a day turned every face on Earth skyward, but no one could see what was in the dark uh, cargo compartments below. My fellow miners and I were strapped to benches, surrounded by rattling equipment we would use to stab at the heart of the moon. There was no celebrity for us, just dirty, difficult, and exceedingly dangerous work. In those days, there was no pressurized dome. We tunneled in spacesuits, aware that even a minor accident would result in catastrophe. The stress was too much for some. At night, I could hear them crying in the dark and the smell of bootleg liquor soared the air in our barracks, or soured the air in our barracks. But by day, we were hard as nails, and for every miner that died, we hit back with a vengeance, cutting deeper and deeper into the moon that killed them. The astronauts that got all the glory, or the astronauts got all the glory, but it was the guys like us that made Project Axiom happen. Cool. That is, that's a good book to read when you're on the moon, living a terrible life like this. Brian, or I? I? Aye, Brian is blaming natural causes for the quakes, but I think something else is going on. I've been moved from the Critter Access machine shop, and I'm getting scolded for investigating the quake's so-called epicenter. What do you think? Uh, Malt Morton, you're absolutely right. We're nowhere near a deep freeze lunar thaw that would explain thermal quakes, and there have been no meteorite impacts nearby. Blaming natural causes is optimistic. Initiate vacuum. De de decommission zones. Hey, Morton! Look, you know the decommission machine shop is off limits and it's only running on auxiliary power. If you have work that needs to be done back there, please get approval first. Let's work together, please. Prevent people online. from worrying about your safety. Okay. Hey all, many of you have had questions about last week's moonquake and the fact that we've decommissioned access to the machine shop in the aftermath. Let me assure you that structural integrity has not been compromised. The quake just did dislodge some rocks that injured Kelvin Tyler. Rest assured he's doing well but access to the area near the crater door is prohibited for the time being. 
Feel free to reach out with any additional concerns. Okay, what about this? Brian, I'm not sure why I'm being moved around so much. First the machine shop, then support systems. Now I'm out here near, next to this grav shaft in the middle of a mine. Plus somebody stole my employer? What's going on? Sorry, Mort. We just don't have the room right now. I'll try to get this resolved for you ASAP, but my play is really full right now. Thanks for your patience, it's starting to be a pain. Brian. <laughs> oh yeah, well that does, definitely doesn't help anyone. Okay. Let's try this again. There. That's what I tried to do before. Harvester in operation. How many times are you gonna harvest these damn rocks? <laughs> in the same exact place. Hello. Hey. Scanning. Neural imaging shows your mental resources are This should help. You should feel more alert. Thank you. I still don't have any psychic abilities, but that's good to have. I probably sh should grab one of my abilities, but I don't have the neuromods for it. I mean, I can get them, but then what do I spend it on? I want to make sure I'm being efficient with my neuromod spending, so I should get, like, suit modification rather than electrostatic burst. Because I don't want to waste it. Okay. Wait, supply container? Oh, shit. Hold on. Am I able to escape by the shuttle? Okay. The objective was just changed. Woo! Woo! I panicked for a second there. I was like, wait, did I miss some? No, I'm fine. Screw Annex. Ah. All right. There's going to be enemies here. Attention everyone. We have a special announcement from our head of security. Thank you. This is Officer Bhatia with a quick lost and found update. An important group has been misplaced on level 2 near the lounge of the crew entrance. If you locate it, please contact security immediately. I probably won't. Tarmagon. That is an odd name. Ugh. These assholes again. At least I'm getting tons of points. Next time we start a character, we're not going to sit there all gimped. Fucking bullets. Okay. Come on, blow up on my turret, thank you. Well, that's just annoying. Stop flipping my turret over! I'm smacking this motherfucker. Ugh. Oh shit, you're alive? Fucking teleported behind me, man. Ugh. That phantom kept teleporting or like lifting my my turret up. That is terrible. <sighs> oh. Well, you're annoying. Just I'll put a turret right in front of here. So that's what shot behind me.
Come on, roll at me. Ugh, I'm getting out of here. All right, shuttle's above us. Don't even need the lift. No type is detected. Good. What's going on here? Casey, pro tip for you. I got stuck on the wrong side of a Typhon gate the other day. Phantom almost ate my ass off until I figured out I could zap the sensor with my shotgun. Guess we should tell engineering, but then they'd fix it. <laughs> so I could actually just shoot this thing? Can I hit it? No. No, 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 no. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, I stopped it! I gotta go. Yeah. Alright, you little fucker. You in here? Guess not. Good to know. Let me buy this level 4 thing. I get more space in my inventory, and I get more things when I play as this chick. Okay, getting out of here. Oh god. Is this safe? We're launching with a mimic on us. Congratulations, you escaped using the shuttle. Remember, successive escapes in the same run lead to increasingly larger sim point rewards. That's good. I should get quite a large sum of sim points. Duplicate fabrication plans and duplicate chipsets also still contribute to our overall points, so that's good. Huh. Escape crew members are unavailable. Select another crew member to continue exploring the simulation. If no more crew are available, the simulation resets so you can start a new run. Oh no, it's resetting? I thought I did what I needed to do to, to unlock the new character. Oh, you know what? No, I just unlocked her story objective. Ah, uh, I see where I messed up. Okay. So I do legitimately now need to head off to see Riley U. That's fine. That's fine. But of course, the sim has reset itself, so that's also annoying. Oh well. Let's go as the engineer. We're going to try and actually make our way to Riley U this time. And maybe we'll even find VJ's corpse. Okay, now right, we're gonna start this run off. Now that we have so many things here that we can use, ah, uh, we're rich, 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 rich. I guess I'll go for the upgraded shotgun. With some shotgun bullets, I can't make shotgun bullets. Okay, I'll just make some pistol ammo then. And I'm actually gonna take this off. Because if I can't make the ammo for it, there's no points. Okay. Brain pills. A couple repair kits. A repair kit. And an Artex propulsion system would be good. I can buy these turrets. Yo. I want to just see what it's like to carry around one of these things. If I can put it back in my inventory, that'd be awesome. All right, and then out of the chipsets that we're gonna start with, uh, I think fear reactor would be good, and critical hit chance would be good as well. Okay, this is fun. Uh, anything else that I want? System Defender might be okay, but I don't really use anything that EMPs or Null Waves too much, but just in case. Alright, next. 
Uh, crew member's story objective is now available to you. Each playable crew member has their own unique story objective that must be completed as part of Kazma's orders. Oh, even Kazma wants to figure out what happened? Okay, sure. Alright, so I started myself off with pistol ammo because I know I'm going to be able to find a pistol in the map. It is... we found like five different pistols in that, that last playthrough. So while the world might shift a bit because the simulation has been reset, I'm sure a pistol will probably be pretty quickly available to us, no matter what. Okay. Bearcat. Oh wow! Okay, so it doesn't actually go into your inventory, it just literally spawns you next to a turret. That's funny. Okay, so now everybody's corpses are gonna have shit on them again. That's a minor nuisance. Just in case. And this time... There's nothing coming through the gates. Okay. I was hoping to beat the simulation on the first go. But I, I, I messed up the objective to get the characters, so that was an accident. Oops. I really wish this would go into my inventory. But, fine, I guess I'll just carry it around. And then put it in, like, areas I'll keep coming back to. Come along, bear cat! Let's see what we can accomplish. Mm, hello. Laser turret! Cool. Hold on, we've got random dudes here. Honestly, I just spawned my turret. Okay, this is nice that we're able to get all of our stuff back. None of these are mimics this time. Cool. Alright, bear, cat, and hummingbird. Let's see what we can find out here. So I, I guess what happens is, the first time you play the game, all the areas are locked off, and then the second time you play the game, or when you're playing as the engineer, after that, everything's unlocked. And so I really could have just gone off to all the areas that would have unlocked every single character, but ah well. Shit. I guess you can always get an Artex propulsion system from her. But I guess... Do I have an extra one? Because I could always just put it back on the character, but I guess not. What? Where'd my turret go? Where'd my turret go? Why'd my turret disappear? It was right in front of me! I'm really sad about that. Oh, fuck, another one of these assholes. What's up, Moonshine? You want some of this, motherfucker? Fair enough answer! <laughs> okay, wrenches versus Moonshark. They don't work. They just don't work. Ow. Fucking hell. Alright. Well. Oh, God. I am, uh, I'm wounded. Oh, shit. That's not good. Ah. Uh. I hope the blood eventually <laughs> fades away. Wow, Scrub J, you weren't even really fucking destroyed. You were just knocked down. Yeah, I'm. 
down here now. This is a valid surface! Fuck! I despawned it! <laughs> I'm bleeding. But I can get to safety! Uh. Oh shit, there's two! Uh. Where'd he go? Where'd they go? I have to kill the phantom. I have to save my life. Are you hiding? Coward. I wish I had the recipe to make the coagulating thingy. That'd be good. That'd be great. Don't do this to me. Type and material detected. Oh. You son of a bitch! Okay, I want to make a check because we had Bearcat, we had Hummingbird. Bearcat got knocked over. Okay. Don't worry, little Bearcat. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, okay. Threat vector. This is definitely a threat vector. Where'd the moon shark go? Oh, it's right here. Dunnock! Bearcat! Defend! Good Dunnock! Ugh. Oh. Alright. I am not in a happy, healthy state, but we'll be, all right? So what if I only found one coagulating agent in the last game? What the hell is that sound? Is that a phantom? Or the harvesters? I think it's a phantom. You're just constantly talking. Ugh. Hey, little phantom! Making noise! Don't you want to come over here and get laser beamed? You too, huh? And you rush right on over here! Wow! It's a shame I can't take this through areas. I really wish this was something I could have in my inventory. No! My turret! 
You motherfucker! Ah! Okay, I made a mistake. I right-clicked again immediately after summoning my turret, and that despawned it. And you don't get your cooldown back if you do that. So I'm in trouble. Oh wow, I got a fucking blue and blue wrench. It does 25 damage a swing now. Holy hell. Versus 10? That's a That's a solid increase. <laughs> Alright, fucker. Ah! If I can't kill you with a turret, kill you myself. Okay. Laser turret's not so good, but that's alright. Because we just found another laser turret! So I have multiple objectives over there. Is it because I know about the different uh, escape routes? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna actually turn those off. Now what is this? Find the memory marker. Find the memory marker to begin the crew member's story objective. That's in the crew annex. Okay. And then I need to find some of the other people, so I actually have to make it to, make it to a station. I'm actually gonna go into the crew... the crew annex. So that way I can, uh, get to a medical bot that we know of. Alright, Bearcat the second. I have to leave you behind. Or do I? Yeah, I have to leave it behind. Uh -huh. My turret. Be safe, buddy. Could have repaired my turret, my original bear cat, but I knew I was about to go through a loading zone, and so I wasn't gonna be able to take it with me anyways, which is silly, considering you can spend points to spawn with it. But I guess it just helps you in those early game sections.